so this could be done with a quarter inch but I don't really agree with that so I'm gonna run a bigger I'm gonna run a 5 16 and watch your fingers on this when you're doing this and go slow you don't want it to get sucked in and hit the wires behind it Get the rest of this crap out. We'll just rotate it. All right. Now we've got to thread this in here. get it where I want it. You remember the Chinese finger trap that's under here. I really think that thing is completely unnecessary. So I'm just, you know what, it's just going to be down there and I'm going to go ahead and slip my thermocouple through here. In fact, this sheathing on the thermocouple wants to keep coming off. So the thermocouple really has to come through here first. And then once the thermocouple is in, we can slide this other wire through. And, and again, this Chinese finger trap stuff is just completely and totally unnecessary and in the way. So now we want to bend this down and just kind of get it in the right spot. We need to get razor blade for this. Let me see where I put that. Right back. And you want to be really careful doing this because it's really easy to cut your fingers or the wires and you don't want to do either. So what you want to do is just kind of nick the sheathing and then you can split it open by hand. case I'm just gonna carefully back the wiring out so I can get in here and cut this pretty good. I promise we do not need this much wire so we're going to go ahead and cut off at about this point here. Put all that in the recycle bin. We're not going to need all of that so we'll trim that down. ahead and get these trimmed. And then we're going to twist these to prevent whiskers. And then uh, I guess you guys thought I'd almost forgotten this, but we got to run the DC 5 volts in. this and we'll route it through all of this and and um, you know this is gonna be a shit show this grommet's just not that big let's see if I can get to go through a different spot no. to shove this thing through there. So 
So what you guys, maybe you can see, I used the screwdriver to wedge the Chinese finger trap so that I could get this cable through here. I'll show you again when I get to the other side. And now what I'm gonna do is I just have so much more of this than I need, so I'm gonna zip tie it down here at the bottom. I think I've got some of the zip ties I need. These are really too small to be useful. It's not to say you can't do this, but they're just really, really difficult to work. Fuck this. No, they're too difficult to work with. So I'm going to use some longer ones and send those to recycling. I'm sure there's somebody with this finger talent to use those, just not me. I need enough to work with to get my fingers in here. Now, zip ties are something that I probably own 4 million of and can only find 15 of them at a time when I need them. So I'm going to stop the camera and go see if I can figure out where they're hiding. I'll be back. Alright, so I've got a few way oversized ones and one more of the ones that came with it. This will all be fine. Okay, so now we got to get it to come through here. And the Chinese finger trap thing is in my way again. No big deal. Okay, so we're going to trim this at this point about the same length as the rest of them. So that looks really nice. So now what we need to do is find a really tiny screwdriver, which I own two or three of. I'll be right back. Get this through here. Let's see if we can manage to make this fit with all this other crap in here. Uh, it might. Yeah, this is oh, this is so irritating. I've got to pull all this out to get the servos through here. This is something the instructions should really cover in detail. Because this barely fits. In fact, it doesn't fit unless you yank on it. Pain in the ass. got this stupid finger trap stuff that's just completely in the way. And I should add completely unnecessary. Alright, got everybody but one or two.
really tight down there. So I think it'll be okay though. So now we're going to start hooking stuff up and we're going to assume that black and red are positive and negative because, well, that's the way the rest of the world does this. dealing with really teeny tiny little wires so you want to be especially careful that you don't have stray wires sticking out. I mean I, I can't emphasize enough I would have designed this with removable connectors so that I could have done the wiring in piece and then put it all together and just snapped it in and it would have made it so much easier. They're just not that expensive even look the same. The same cheap Chinese components. And yes, that's what I use in my designs. So we're going to trim this a little further. And then we're going to see if we can pull back these little delicate wires. in here too. They're little teeny tiny wires. And again, I mean, if it was doubled up, you, I wouldn't have to do what I'm doing right here. Uh, or if it was removable, uh, I wouldn't have to fight with it. So I'm going to have to double these back in order to provide enough bite surface for these. And hopefully with luck it will make contact, although this is really sketchy the way I'm doing this. So now we need red, which is positive. This stupid finger trap thing is really getting in my nerves. It's just totally making this harder than it needs to be. Huh. And it's hard to cut. So we're going to have to do this a little differently than we wanted to. Alright, and then 
we need the instructions where it tells us what the wires go to. Red is common. Black, blue, yellow. One, two, three. And again, if this was a removable clip, this wouldn't be a big deal because I could work on these comfortably and then snap them in place. And they make one that's just identical to this. Black, blue, and yellow. And hopefully we get them in the right order. All right, so at this point we're gonna test it.